Hello and welcome to a Mitsubishi Electric Quick Tips video on how to install the OS for a motion controller. When you first power on the system, you'll notice the display reads INS, which means you are in installation mode and you need to use your personal computer to download the OS. This information can be found in the user's manual for the motion controller in section 251. In order to do this, you're going to need some software. You're going to have to go to All Programs, MelSoft Application, MTWorks 2, and then select Install. Now before we can install the OS, we need to make sure we're connected. So I go to Online Transfer Setup, and I confirm my PC side interface. I'm using a serial USB cable. On the CPU side, which is your uh, controller, you would select a PLC module. Down here for the network settings, you'd specify no specification. And then finally down at the far bottom, you'd select CPU target number two. And then I go ahead and do a connection test and you'll see that I'm connected. Say OK and then OK again. And now I select where my motion controller OS is stored. Now this in the Americas comes on a CD and you're going to have to select the OS that is suitable for your application. In order to, to determine which OS is going to work for your machine, please consult with your local Mitsubishi Electric representative. In my case, I'm going to browse to a folder. In your case, you would select a CD, or a folder if you've saved it already on your computer. Now, once you find your motion controller type in the folder structure, you're going to have to select either SV13 or SV22. Now SV13 is right here, you can see it in this part name. SV13 is essentially real mode. It's for more basic positioning and motion applications. This is referred to as real mode. SV22 is referred to as virtual mode and includes electronic line shaft programming, electronic clutching, electronic camming, uh, and, and more advanced positioning operations. So 9 out of 10 cases you're going to want to use SV22 since this also includes the SV13 functionalities. So once I select SV22, I select OK, and then I select Execute. This will write the OS file to the motion controller. And once this is complete, you select OK, and then Close, and then Exit Installation. Now in order to begin programming, you're going to have to turn the power off and then look at the rotary switches on the front face of the motion controller. You'll see two rotary dials, SW1, SW2. In order to exit the installation mode, with the power off, move the rotary switch 1 to position 0. Now for switch number 2, you'd select that and, and put it into position 0. Then turn the power back on and you will be able to then proceed with programming. Thank you very much for listening. Have a great day.